And now your first alert weather. Well, yeah, smoky start to the work week. We've been dealing with the smoke and the haze and the poor air quality as that stuff rolled in over the Saturday and Sunday. And uh, we're going to be picking up on more of that here for tonight and tomorrow. But we're going to begin to shake things up a little bit here for Tuesday as we're pulling in a cold front. That's going to drive in some gusty winds and help move some of the smoke around with some showers. We're getting a few thunderstorms out there and just very dark here at the Salmon Airport webcam with the haze and smoke hanging overhead. And around the region right now, we have an air quality alert for pretty much the entire state of Idaho and then even into the western counties of Wyoming. The air quality alert is until further notice for obvious reasons with these fires continuing to burn. The largest contributing of uh, the largest contributor of these fires, uh, Northern California fires right now, that's contributing to smoke, I should say. That's the poor air quality. And we'll continue to have that here for tonight and tomorrow as we move forward. I want to show you the Vipercast smoke model. And we're going to start to thin out the smoke just a little bit in western Idaho with this cold front that's going to come through here for tomorrow. And then for the rest of us, we're stuck with the smoke for the afternoon and evening hours, but we start to bring in some drying and, well, I should say some clearing conditions, excuse me, uh, but not drying weather. It's going to be actually pretty wet as we get into tomorrow night and Wednesday, and that's going to also help to clear the air just a little bit. Over on First Alert Viper Radar, some showers and thunderstorms with us tonight, especially coming across central Idaho and southern Montana, and we're getting some of these thunderstorms moving into areas just outside of Pocatello. In fact, you got a little thunderstorm cell right now just west of American Falls putting down some light lightning and some showers coming out of Power County, moving into a little bit of Western Bingham County up towards Aberdeen as well. So we got a thunderstorm in there. We're going to be looking for more scattered thunderstorms tonight and then through tomorrow and Wednesday as this area of low pressure drives down from the northwest. And here's the forecast as we go through tomorrow and Wednesday. That low settles in here. We will see that low drop in some cooler temperatures by the midweek here for Wednesday. But wrapping around that area of low pressure, you got showers and thunderstorms dotting the region, plus some gusty winds. Now there's still going to be some smoke tonight, tomorrow, but it's really not until Wednesday and Thursday we might be able to thin out that smoke just a bit. Here's a look at the Vipercast about 10 o'clock tonight. We got some thunderstorms with us tomorrow morning. We're going to be working in some partly cloudy conditions for Tuesday morning, even a few spotty morning showers in some of the foothills and mountains around the region. The risk is going to be very light here for tomorrow morning, but the smoke is with us here for the morning and midday. By the afternoon, about 2 o'clock, thunderstorms start popping into play, especially for our local foothills and mountains. Cold front drops down from the north on Tuesday evening. That's going to drive in gusty conditions and more scattered showers and thunderstorms to carry us over into Wednesday. Wednesday morning, a chance for some rain showers, helping to clear the air just a little bit, but it's still going to be windy outside all day on Wednesday with the occasional shower and thunderstorm. Uh, let's talk about the highs and lows. We got 92 still for the high tomorrow in McCammon and Preston. Yeah, it's going to be hot again here tomorrow before that cold front gets in here. That cold front arrives again tomorrow evening. 88 for Rexburg, 89 for St. Anthony, 85 in Jackson with highs in central Idaho, and about 86 for Salmon and Chouse, 83 in Arco with a high of 80 in Ketchum. Idaho Falls very close to 90 tomorrow along with Rigby. We'll see lower 90s in Pocatello and the upper 80s to low 90s for Amer Aberdeen and American Falls again with some scattered thunderstorms. Take a look at that Rexburg 8 day forecast. Gusty winds for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday with increasing cloud cover and threats for showers, especially as we head into Wednesday. Look at this temperatures dropping back down to the 60s and 70s for Wednesday and Thursday afternoon. So we go from 90 degree weather down to a high of 68 for Thursday. We take a look at Blackfoot. Highs around 88 for tomorrow, and then we're hanging out in the low 70s for Wednesday, low 70s on Thursday, and then the mid 70s kick in here for Friday and Saturday. Weekend's looking pretty pleasant with a few showers on there on Saturday, so we do have a risk for some wet weather this weekend, especially getting into Friday and Saturday. Salmon a high of 86 for tomorrow, but down to a high of 66 on Wednesday. And as we take a look at Jackson, also looking at a fairly significant drop in the temps. 85 for tomorrow, down to 70 on Wednesday, 64 for the high on Thursday. We'll start to climb back into some warmer territories. We get into next week there with highs in the 70s for the weekend. Pocatello, 91 still for the high tomorrow. Yeah, it's hot, windy with some scattered thunderstorms for the afternoon and evening. Then as we head into Wednesday, we're dropping down to the upper 60s, lower 70s for Wednesday and Thursday. And Idaho Falls, check this out, close to 90 tomorrow. Still pretty hot out there with the smoke-filled skies in the morning and midday. Then we're dropping it down to the 70s on Wednesday, 60s for Thursday. So, Todd, pretty big uh, drops there in the temperatures as we get into the midweek here for Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to lose the heat for a bit. That'll be kind of refreshing. Mm -hmm. And maybe to see the blue sky, that might yeah. be kind of nice. Get some rain in here, help clear the air just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. All right.
Thanks, Michael. Thanks a lot. COVID-19 cases continue to surge.